Hi everyone. Uh, this is the update uh, uh, on my wire cutting and stripping machine. So this machine is now pretty much done. So I will quickly show the details of this machine. So now I have added a, a power supply here. So this is a mean well 100 watt power supply. So this this will be able to power the machine fully. So normally this machine takes around uh, 50 to 60 watts to run. So this 100 watt power supply will be more than enough. Yeah, apart from this, uh, I have done some changes in the full uh, wire guide mechanism here and I have added like uh, uh, this is a holder for the cut pieces, I, you can remove it uh, and this just snaps in place like this and so that all the cut, uh, cut, uh, cut pieces or the splice wire bits, uh, they end up here and don't get inside the machine. And this is a guide uh, uh, for all the all the wire cut wires. So uh, this will make sure that nothing gets uh, inside the machine and all the wires go outside. Uh, this this is a C hook uh, uh, that I have designed here. So this helps in aligning this wire guide uh, when the machine is closing and opening the blade. So this is attached to the blade. So with this now the uh, this mechanism. Uh, 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 performs uh, uh, well now and I am also now started using the, the second uh, uh, servo, uh, uh, the small mini servo. So this uh, uh, this moves the wire guide out so that the uh, when we are stripping the back uh, back of the wire then the wire has to be, uh, wire goes, uh, goes inside so that time this mechanism just opens so that the wire which is coming feeding from this side moves out of the way. Uh, uh, so yeah, so about the construction, so this machine uh, uses uh, four motors, uh, these are NEMA 17 motors, yeah, you can see here, and if you can see the design of the machine, I have kept very compact, uh, so this is the pa power supply, so the gap between the power supply and the top motor is around 2 mm, and these top uh, top motors, both, both side top motors, uh, they can move up and down. Uh, so, uh, if you can see these knobs here, one here and one here, so uh, these are used to adjust the tension on the wire here. So, if you can see here, all the top motors, they uh, they ride on this 1515 uh, uh, aluminium extrusion which acts as a uh, linear guide here. So, they can move up and down here. Uh, for the... Uh, for the main board, uh, I'm using a Arduino Mega here, and the shield on top of it is the RAM shield. And I have added a cooling fan also now. So this also is uh, uh, the speed uh, speed of this is varying. So ideally, it runs at one one percent speed, and when we are cutting the wires, at time it uh, goes to sixty percent uh, as the drivers were heating up a bit. And so that's why this was added. <coughs> And the big uh, big servo. This is a 20 kg servo which I am using as a cutting servo. Uh, here also I have added one uh, holder for the pen because this is a resistive screen and uh, it needs this pen uh, to operate. And I was losing the pen, so now it is always fixed in place. Uh, so behind the machine now, I have closed the machine from back end now. Um, um, I have added this IEC connector here which has an inbuilt fuse and a power switch is there which has a light also on top of it. I will just power the machine and uh, show you now. Let's see the mechanism first. So you can see that this guide will push this rod down now and you can also see the mini servo which will push the this guide rod out like this. So uh, here this mechanism I have to tune a bit. The reason for this is that um, in a professional machines this blade is also moving so you get a bigger gap. 
uh, for the wire to pass but in this mechanism only the top blade is moving so I have very little clearance and there is a chance that the wire can touch the blade and once it does that then it will not be able to go forward because we are pushing the wire from these back wheels so that's why the alignment of the wire has to be kept uh, correct and this guide here it, it helps in aligning the uh, this feed rod here also some changes I have to do on this uh, on this end uh, end guide also so it has a cone inside it uh, in future actually these have to be uh, uh, like I have to use a metal uh, metal tube inside so I am, I am not able to find anything which I can put inside so that will give me a very smooth surface uh, for the wire to uh, move freely inside so that is uh, something I will when I find some part uh, which I can use then I will upgrade these things here so let's come to the UI now so this is the UI of the machine now so I will just show all the parts of the machine now my camera is not focusing properly so so th this uh, this text box or a number box shows the length of the wire the total length end to end length of the wire so like it is set to 70 mm now and these small boxes show how much the wire has to be stripped on both sides we have uh, both ends you can do that and these boxes show how much the splicing distance has to be on both the side if this number is greater than the, the if I can say the strip number is greater than the splice number then the wire will be totally stripped out otherwise it will do a semi strip uh, just like is shown here other than that uh, you can control the blade here uh, when we are feeding and fine tuning like this uh, we can close and open the blade and this is we can when we are doing an initial setup and trying to like, feed the wire then we can use these controls here and this is the quantity of wire that we want so we can set like 50 pieces and this is the main setting section uh, where you can set how much the blade has to uh, when it open how the opening opening distance close distance and the splice uh, how much it has to close and the motor settings are here and uh, uh, the secondary mini servo wire servo that those settings are kept here yeah and once the settings are done then this is the start stop button you can save the fan now uh, the fan will kick in and when we do a stop here the yeah the fan will ramp down then.